All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you all how to get your iClone animations uh, into Unreal without needing 3D Exchange. So what you're going to do is after you've uh, made your animation or whatever, uh, and or if you just want to export one of these, So if you just want to export one of these, you can come to the end of it. Set it. Come over here to Motion Plus. And add it. It'll take a second to save it. So it'll save it as a new a new animation, a custom animation. It's gonna save that under your uh, documents, uh, Reillusion Custom, uh, iClone uh, Seven, Motion Plus folder. So I'll show that to you too. So you're gonna come. Uh, you're just gonna open up that character in Character Creator three. You're gonna go to Export, FBX Clothed Character. You're gonna select Unreal. Make sure Mesh Motion. It should be there by default. You're gonna change this from Calibration to Custom. You're gonna check. Uh, well, first you have to load up your animations. Uh, So under custom, iClone 7 custom, motion plus, football kick. There it is. After you've added uh, however many animations you want to this, there's no limit as far as I know. Uh, you go to export mesh and motion individually, save one motion per file, then set up your mesh however you want it to be uh, imported into Unreal. You could use Insta LD if you want. This can take a little longer, but uh, it'll be more game friendly. Then you're going to export it. I'm not going to export it because I've already done that. You're going to come over here to Unreal. Uh, in a new folder, I'll just show you what you're you're going to do for the settings. Choose whichever shader you want. Standard shader looks fine to me. I think the other two shaders are more for like cinematics, but I'm not 100% sure. So when you open this up, it might look like this. It might show mesh and then animation right here. Just select show advanced. Make sure all five of these are checked. Import all. I'm not going to import it because I've already done that. Then in the same folder that you imported, uh, uh, this mesh, you're going to right click again, import again, you're going to choose your your motions, it should automatically select the skeleton, if not, you can uh, select the skeleton uh, through this drop down list right here. Uh, make sure these are set. I use default sample rate. I'm not sure what all else I've changed in here, but I think it's all pretty much default. Uh, but make sure you use default sample rate is checked. Then import all. You're going to come over here and there's your animation. It's pretty much that simple. Uh, some of the other methods that I tried, I ended up with this. Uh, they told you to use the, the T-pose and all that. I ended up with an animation that was about 4,000 frames long. And after editing it, it was still 2,260 frames. You can fix that by recording. 
and pressing OK. And then after that, you press the pause button because this will still be a pause button and it'll start playing it. But you'll, if you do that, you'll want to turn off the loop uh, so it doesn't loop uh, because after you stop the playback right here, it'll save the animation as a new animation with fewer frames. But then you'll have to cut out the, the dead end where he's just standing there between the animation pausing and starting and you stopping it. So that's just a tip. If you do have issues with the animations that are longer than what you would like them to be, uh, as far as frame or has a larger frame rate count and sequence, uh, or I mean a uh, number of keys than what you, what you want, that's how you would do it. So for example, this one right here, I fixed using this method. And as you can see, I reduced it from 2,262 keys to 36 keys. And it looks fine looks just as good I don't know why I did that in the first place but yeah I'm, I'm just uh, kind of letting y'all know if y'all do have that issue but if you do it like I just did it you shouldn't have that issue it should import just fine so this is an idle animation so it's gonna have more keys than usual Believe it or not, this is how this idle animation looks like inside of iClone. <laughs> I don't know why. This is a Mixamo one, a Mixamo to iClone one that I got for free. See? And there you go.